project of Homes Kids Interior. Today we are in Sridham Signia and this house belongs to Mr. R.K. Bhatt and Mrs. Danya. And we are right now standing in the foyer area. The foyer area has a big storage rack. The storage rack can accommodate the hats, the jackets and one part of the storage area is used for the storage. The other side is for the shoes. And we have decorated the wall with the niches, a small niches, which accommodates the small artifacts. And the unique feature of this house is the client has more interest towards different old colors. So we have used lot of wooden colors in the house and the more classic and very ethnic. The house is more ethnic in its nature. So the fall ceiling of the house, the foyer area has a rafters in the fall ceiling so we have given the rafters with the POP and then we have lit the rafters using the spotlights. We have also placed a Ganesha statue for the guests to have a warm welcome note. And getting inside the living area of the house, so uh, if you closely observe the entire living area of the house, we have uh, uh, made a wooden paneling to the entrance of the living area. And then the living area has both the, it's an open living area, open, open dining, the dining, the living area and the kitchen. So it's a, it all three are combined together. So uh, the living area is a huge living area where we have done the TV cabinet, the TV cabinet and then the other side of the living area is covered with the sofa area where the, it's a six seater and then the other side, uh, the, again we have lifted up the uh, TV unit with the niches. So we have used the niches concept all over the house. So the niches are littered with the spotlights, the rafters are also littered with the spotlight. Even the uh, wooden, we have done a wooden paneling on the TV unit to make the house look more eth ethnic. And then coming to the next part of the living area is the dining area. So the dining area of the house we have used the crockery unit and a very huge dining table. The dining table is a very heavy dining table and also this goes well with the uh, concept of the house. So we have used the big headrest here so that it looks very neat and simple. At the same time we have got big storage racks beneath the crockery unit. So some the racks are there for the display and some for giving the big, bigger look. The mirror is given for the bigger look in the crockery unit and then we have got the storage area beneath the crockery unit. Coming to the fall ceiling of this house, the fall ceiling of the house plays a very uh, major role in the house. So we have played with the concept of um, the CNC cut of Jani, then the wooden rafters and the boxes and then uh, we also got the rafters. So the rafters are again highlighted with the spotlights, the boxes are highlighted with the uh, spotlights and then uh, the jali pile that we have given here, it's a very beautiful jali design which goes well with the concept of the house and this also is little with the backlight. And then in the dining area, we have also again given the rafters and the boxes concept. And the fans is in the center of the dining table. So the living area and the dining area is well designed. It is not very clumsy. It's a very neat work done at the same time. It looks very neat and elegant. Coming to the uh, very interesting part of this house is the balcony of this house. So the balcony of the house, what we have done is... Uh, we have uh, given a beautiful uh, landscaping over here and uh, we have given a grass garden here. So the, gra uh, the floor of the, the balcony is uh, covered with a grass, artificial grass, so that when the client comes and sits over here during the week, uh, weekend, evenings, it looks very pleasant and very admiring. And then coming to the uh, painting in the house, we have keep, kept the painting concepts very simple and neat. We have not used much of wallpapers or very decorative paintings because the client is more interested in having a very neat and very simple walls in the house. Coming to the next part of the house, that is the kitchen. It's again an open kitchen. So the open kitchen is again, uh, we have done the wooden paneling 
to give the entrance a, a very good look and then the kitchen is also a very simple and uh, neat we have not used very bright colors as I said the client is very interested in very sober gentle colors so we have used the tan color and the atom leaf color in the cabinets the cabinets are covered with the atom leaf throughout and then the loft and the middle units are color covered with the champagne and then we have used the microwave the next to the microwave we have given a large space when we cook and we can place certain things over here so it's very convenient for people to cook and keep so we have given a big space for the microwave and then we have used the the, the spotlights to the, the granite over here and then as usual we have given a very uh, the different types of boxes the, the tandem boxes then we have got the cutlery cup and saucer tali the big baskets the uh, different types of bottle racks on either sides dustbin rack everything is accommodated in the kitchen very well also we have given a good space for the fridge to get accommodated within the kitchen so the kitchen looks very huge and neat also we have given a double door tall unit here so that you can accommodate all the big boxes in the double door tall unit so coming to the next part of the house that is the guest bedroom of the house which is just next to the living area of the house so the guest bedroom uh, is placed in the northeast corner of the house so we have, uh, we have done the wardrobe on the other side of the other side of the wall that's a very huge wardrobe is done over here and then we have made the puja unit here so even the puja unit is well designed in such a way we have given the bells on top and then we have the uh, uh, we have the dia littered on the glass doors and then if you look at the inside part of the puja mandir we have uh, given it more simple Handmade brass light. This is a this light is a handmade piece. We have done a uh, beautiful lighting here with different types of storage in the puja mandir. And then uh, this is all. Uh, this access both as an office come a uh, place for the guest. So we have given a big uh, office desk over here and then different types of storages on this big uh, wall unit and then we have got this as well like the, the big wardrobe that is running end to end in this room. So this room is well designed in such a way that uh, all the area is covered in the room. And then uh, we have got a small queen size bed when the guest comes they can get accommodated in the queen size bed. Coming to the next part of the house that is the Children room of the house. The children room of the house is uh, is not. We have not played with very bright colors. Again, we have used a very subtle and neat colors in the children bedroom. So the children bedroom of the house, we have used a, a beautiful orange and a white. It's a glittering orange and a glittery white. Along with the study table, makes the room looks more bright and very interesting. So we have given different types of openables like the drawers that will easily accommodate their students, the toys for the kids, the different types of uh, storage and then the kid can easily, the, the window is there so the kid can easily sit and read here and the bright light comes from the window. Also we have got a foldable bed, foldable bed come a library that is placed over here. So the children bedroom of the house is well designed, not much done, but whatever is needed is being clearly used and given in the children bedroom of the house. The wardrobe looks very neat and very simple. So the orange is not used much. The very minimum of orange is used and then more of white is used to give a better look in the home. Coming to the next part of the house, that is the, the master bedroom of the house. So before going to the master bedroom of the house, we have the lobby area here and I came little with the wooden light. Then coming to the master bedroom of the house, the master bedroom of the house is again well designed, neat. So we have got the bed on one part of the room and uh, the TV unit, the client wants a TV unit, a personal TV unit inside the master bedroom of the house. So we have the TV unit here and then it's a very simple neatly designed TV unit. 
uh, small niches to keep the artifacts. This is the night light for the client where they can switch off all the light and use this light as a night light, a small storage. And the client uses multiple storages like he has got a lot of things to make charges. So we have given a lot of niches. So at, at least five to six cell phones can be charged and different types of watches. So his requirement is just to keep storages and different types of uh, uh, chargers to be accommodated in this particular area. From outside it looks like a neat storage unit. Then coming to this part of the living room is the, sorry, the uh, bedroom is the master bedroom wardrobe. So the wardrobe has a separate walk-in wardrobe. We have done a neat uh, wardrobe here with a dressing table. So the dressing table is also a very large dressing table. And then you, when you open the door, you have a lot of storage racks. Here, different types of storages are there. We've given niches so that nothing falls from the TV, uh, the uh, dressing unit, and we also have given niches here so that the client can store a very beautiful uh, artifacts or their or their dressing items over here. Even this uh, dressing table and the wardrobe is nicely designed, and the space is well utilized so that both the client. Uh, the dresses can be stored and the dressing can be done simultaneously. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please get in touch with us as www.homeskitchinteater.com. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.